Hey Pokemon Champions, today let's talk about why Charizard is one of my favorite fire type Pokemon and one of the best in the game. Charizard is the OG fire type starter, it's fire flying the superior Kanto starter. But there's just so much that's great about this Pokemon, it's a lizard dragon, it's basically the fire dragon that we kind of all imagine as a kid, so it's very relatable to young kids, people pick it because as a kid you see a fire breathing dragon and you want to pick it and have it on your team. It was very prevalent in the very first Pokemon movie, showed up in the second, showed up in the third, and on top of that it has two amazing mega evolutions, one amazing Gigantamax form, and its design is just flat out freaking cool. On top of it, it's got an amazing cry in the anime, listen to this. So yes, for all of these reasons, and it's extremely powerful with an amazing move set and move pool, Charizard has one also an amazing name too, Charizard, but it's absolutely fantastic, there's no reason not to like this Pokemon. Hey Pokemon Champions, Champion Blaze here, and here's why Greninja is the best water Pokemon that we have in the franchise. Greninja begins as a Froakie, evolves into Frogadier, and then becomes Greninja, this water ninja Pokemon with the signature move of Water Shuriken that is absolutely so dope. It also gives me massive Naruto and Jiraiya vibes because this is a frog ninja, and they are two ninja known for using frogs in battle. On top of it, in Pokemon XYZ, we were blessed with the almighty Satoshi Gekoga. The Ash Greninja form is absolutely outstanding. It's badass, it's kick-ass, it's just so freaking amazing. It's super edgy, it's shonen. It's one of the best things introduced in the Pokemon anime. So seeing Greninja just be a ninja in the anime is absolutely awesome. Greninja even got Pokemon of the Year, so come on, it's top tier, clear. Hey Pokemon Champions, Champion Blaze here, and here is why Pikachu is my favorite electric type. First off, it's the mascot of the whole entire Pokemon franchise, so it's pretty awesome right there already. It's so cute, it's a mouse, and on top of it, it's got a great cry in the anime, it's absolutely cute. But it's also Ash's main partner in crime, his starter Pokemon. It's absolutely amazing, it kicks ass in the anime, is a great battler. Seeing it use Thunderbolt in the anime is iconic, seeing it use Volt Tackle is iconic, Electro Ball is very cool as well. I had a great time using it in Pokemon Yellow. I had a Pikachu I named Thor in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. And with how many adventures this lovable electric rat has gone through over the course of the last 20 plus years, Pikachu is just outstanding as an electric type, and it is my favorite electric type Pokemon. Hey Pokemon Champions, Champion Blaze here, and here is why Dusk Lycanroc is my favorite Rock-type Pokemon. Dusk Lycanroc is a version variant of already existing Midday and Midnight Lycanroc. It was first introduced in the anime in the Akala Island arc of Pokemon Sun and Moon, but then when Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon came out, it was distributed via gift event as a rock rough with the ability Own Tempo, and this Pokemon, if evolved between, I believe, 6 and 7 p.m. for sunset, you would get a Dusk Lycanroc. I did just that and used it on my Ultra Sun team. In Ultra Sun, this thing kicked butt and was able to use the Z-Move exclusive for this thing, Splintered Storm Shards. Tell me that doesn't sound badass. But Dust Lycanroc was great in Ultra Sun and in the anime, was the Pokemon that made Ash win the Alola League, and it's just amazing. So, for all these reasons, it's my favorite Rock-type Pokemon, and let's just talk about the Rage Mode it gets in the anime, too. That's also a thing that's awesome. Hey Pokemon Champions, Champion Blaze here, and this is why Gliscor is my favorite Ground-type Pokemon. Gliscor is among one of the many amazing Sinnoh evolutions introduced in Generation 4. It evolves from Gligar using a Razor Fang, and this thing is amazing. You combine two opposing forces, two opposing typings in Ground and Flying, combine that with a Scorpion aesthetic, with a Vampire concept design as well, and somehow this all goes together perfectly and gives us Gligar and Gliscor. While Paul's Gliscor was strong and menacing in Diamond and Pearl, Ash's Gliscor was also strong but such a goofball and very sensitive actually. It's honestly just a top tier design and to embody two opposing typings and be so insanely powerful and awesome, Gliscor will always be one of the best ground types that we have in the game. 
Hey Pokemon Champions, Champion Blaze here, and here's why Lapras is my favorite Ice-type Pokemon. Due to its iconicness from the Orange Islands anime of the original series of Pokemon, Lapras was always there. Basically in every episode, it was the transport Pokemon, bringing Ash and his friends around in between every island. It's super iconic because of that. It's also a super strong Pokemon to be using in a playthrough. I used one in my Pokemon Crystal playthrough, catching it in Union Cave on a Friday, and it's super powerful. Got an absolutely elegant and graceful Gigantamax form, and it's just a nice design Pokemon overall. It's beautiful, elegant, poised, and it's just super cute. I also just love the fact that in Gen 6 for surfing, they show a Lapras model, and then in Gen 7, it's a ride Pokemon, just to give us that feeling of riding on a Lapras. Amazing and a great touch. I love this Pokemon. Hey Pokemon Champions, it's Champion Blaze here, and here is why Snorlax is my favorite normal type Pokemon. Snorlax is a big, fat, lazy bear. It eats a lot. It's, it's a Pokemon you can really identify with, to be honest. Big, it's burly, it's cuddly, you can take a nap with it, you can nap on it. It's got plenty of static overworld encounters in different generations, and on top of it, it's just, it's kind of cute, to be honest, with a cute pre-evolution in that of Munchlax. I've only used it twice, being in Pokemon Yellow and in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and in Let's Go Pikachu I named it Nikki, and it's just a powerhouse Pokemon. It's extremely strong, wide move pool, very vast variety of moves it can use, and it's just awesome. And this thing is comedic gold in the Pokemon anime. If you get it angry, oh boy, you better run. But then when you're done running, you can probably just take a nap with your Snorlax. So for these reasons, it's my favorite normal type Pokemon. Pokemon Champions, today I'm here to talk about why Decidueye is one of the best ghost-type Pokemon in the game. I love this Pokemon so much because of course when I played Sun and Ultra Sun, I started with a Rowlet on my journey on Mele Mele Island, both times, and it's never let me down in both playthroughs. Decidueye is a god Pokemon, being a grass ghost type, very unique typing, only a few select Pokemon have this typing. It came in clutch in so many battles from Kahuna battles, trial captains, and it never lets me down. It hardly ever fainted. But the reason I love it so much, one, it's got a sick archer design. Rowlet is cute and adorable and is a god. I love how Dartrix always wants to look kind of cool and just very classy and put together. But the thing that sells me on Decidueye is not only having a sick Z-move and Sinister Arrow Raid, but also because it was the key factor with that Z-move in taking down Ultra Necrozma in Ultra Sun. It was the Pokemon to finish the job, Tough It Out was my strongest Pokemon throughout the entire playthrough, and for all these reasons, I absolutely am in love with Decidueye. Hey Pokemon Champions, it's Champion Blaze here, and here's why Vikavolt is my favorite bug-type Pokemon. Vikavolt is of course the regional bug from the Alola region, and my god, it's the most amazing regional bug. They gave this regional bug such an awesome and sick design. They made it menacing, they made it fearsome, all while being just a simple regional bug. Of course I used Vikavolt in my first run through of Alola with Pokemon Sun, but then in Ultra Sun I was looking for a Turtonator and came across a shiny Charger Bug at the Geothermal Power Plant. I took the Charger Bug I was using right off the team, replaced it with the shiny one, and then was able to use the glorious shiny Vikavolt. This thing is amazing, it is even in my channel banner right now. I cannot believe I got this full Oz shiny, and then I've had so many amazing battles with Vikavolt in two different playthroughs. It's just absolutely an awesome Pokemon. This thing will always be a favorite of mine. Hey Pokemon Champions, Champion Blaze here, and I'm going to talk about why Crobat is my favorite poison type. Crobat is an amazingly awesome next level design step up from Zubat and Golbat in terms of its evolutionary line. Zubat and Golbat were always pretty nice, they were pretty cool Pokemon, but then they became amazing because they evolved into Crobat and Crobat is absolutely outstanding. I have used Crobat in playthroughs of Johto both in Gen 2 and in Gen 4. I have used it in Pokemon Emerald in the past. And with how fast and powerfully strong this Pokemon is, it's an MVP in any playthrough. Any game, you can get a Zubat, which I believe is actually all games. Then Crobat can be used in just about any playthrough, and it's a god-tier Pokemon to be using on your team. I haven't used Crobat in a while, actually, so I think it's time I went and caught myself a Zubat to get this glorious bat. Hey Pokemon Champions, Champion Blaze here, and here's why Absol is my favorite Dark-type Pokemon. 
Even though Absol is a dark type Pokemon, it's actually not meant to be a dark type Pokemon. It doesn't have that aesthetic and that theme. Now, while it is pretty edgy and cool and menacing like a dark type, it's actually just trying to help people. It's known as the disaster Pokemon, but it's because it senses that danger and then kind of brings it with it, quote unquote. Its design is elegant, beautiful, graceful, but also edgy, cool, mysterious. It's one of the few Pokemon that I've talked about on this channel that I used to thought be a legendary because of just how mystical this Pokemon seemed. Then in Generation 6, they gave it an amazing mega evolution. This thing looks like a dog fallen angel. It's absolutely astonishing how great they made Absol with this mega evolution. I absolutely love it. Okay, yeah, we're done. Hey Pokemon Champions, Champion Blaze here, and here is why Togekiss is my favorite fairy type Pokemon. I've always thought Togekiss was a great progressive evolution to that of Togetic and Togepi from the Johto region. Togekiss was elegant, it was beautiful, it was a fantastic fairy Pokemon. I'm also really glad that it got the typing in Generation 6 going from normal flying to fairy flying. Togekiss is also one of the better Gen 4 evolutions in my opinion, and also was very iconic because it was owned by Dawn in the Diamond and Pearl anime. Togekiss was absolutely fabulous in all the contests that it partook in, even though it was introduced late into the series and alongside Dawn. It's cute, it's elegant, it's graceful, and it's just an amazing fairy type Pokemon, and I think really embodies what that type is. With that being said, it's also a super strong fairy owned by Cynthia on her champion team, so yeah, look out. But for these reasons, Togekiss is my favorite fairy type Pokemon. Hey Pokemon Champions, it's Champion Blaze here, and here is why Lugia is my favorite psychic type Pokemon. If you've seen the second Pokemon movie, you're already aware of how amazing and awesome and majestic Lugia is as a legendary Pokemon. It's a part of the Tower Duo with Ho-Oh and the mascot of Pokemon Silver and got its own side game in Pokemon XD Yellow Darkness and was the mascot for that game as well. So awesome legendary right there. Cry in the anime is absolutely beautiful, listen to this. That sound. <sighs> its design is just flawless, immaculate, perfection. Also very intimidating, and finding it in the World Islands in Heart Gold and Soul Silver is just absolutely outstanding. It was a Pokemon even specifically created for just the second movie in the anime. So Lugia is absolutely a top tier psychic type Pokemon. Hey Pokemon Champions, Champion Blaze here, and here is why Rayquaza is my favorite dragon type Pokemon. Rayquaza is a fan favorite from Hoenn and from the entirety of the Pokedex as a whole for good reason. This is an amazingly designed dragon Pokemon. It's fearsome, intimidating, ferocious, it's draconic, it screams and exudes a powerful presence and intimidation. It gives off massive Sly for the Sky Dragon vibes. It is a Sky Dragon after all. On top it's got a kick-ass mega evolution. It's got a fantastic shiny and it's an amazingly powerful pokemon when you think of a dragon rayquaza is the perfect candidate to embody what that is the feeling the presence of a dragon is what rayquaza embodies it's kind of like charizard even though it's only fire flying rayquaza also has a great serpentine kind of like design as well but it's always been amazing it's many people's favorite dragon type and for good reason so for these it's my favorite dragon type too here is why Lucario is my favorite Steel-type Pokemon. It debuted right before Generation 4 as a promotional Pokemon in Lucario in the Mystery of Mew movie. Being debuted alongside a mythical Pokemon, I always assumed it had some sort of legendary or mythical status attached to it, especially since it's got a unique ability and aura unique only to this Pokemon. It's got a signature move of Aura Sphere, making use of its powerful Aura ability, and it's got one of the best overall designs in all of Pokemon, and especially in Gen 4, and has one of the best Mega Evolutions in the entire game. Belonging to Cynthia on her champion team in the games, as well as to Ash recently in Pokemon Journeys, these are two incredibly powerful trainers with a mighty Lucario. On top of it, I even got to use one in Pokemon Legends Arceus, which I named Chakaraya, a mix of Chakra and Jiraiya. There's just so much to love about Lucario, and it is my favorite Steel-type Pokémon. Here is why Infernape is my favorite Fighting-type Pokémon. Infernape debuted in Generation 4 and is one of the best-designed Fire-type starters that we have, period. It even rivals that of Charizard. I'd say it's the second-best Fire starter in the entirety of Pokémon. 
It's got an incredible backstory between Ash and Paul in the Diamond and Pearl anime. It's one of the greatest things about the Diamond and Pearl anime, and I got so excited and hyped when Infernape returned alongside Ash in Pokemon Journeys. It even returned again alongside Ash's other Fire-type Pokemon to help Gengar learn Will-O-Wisp for the Master's 8. I used one in Pokemon Legends Arceus that I named Gokasuchi, and it was a mainstay on my team and it was super strong, and I even gave it coverage moves like Shadow Claw and Thunder Punch. This is a top tier Pokemon and one I absolutely love.